Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of my opening round three ball. I'm actually making a couple additions to this one as well. I didn't even notice that uh, they started posting three balls again, which was why I started this. Again, this is just a short video of uh, bringing you into the week. Uh, it's normally released on Wednesdays, so I get all of the the head-to-head -head matchups and all the bets uh, are all released. So I go over those and, and give you my top picks for the opening round and, and getting the golf bets going and the golf sweats going as well. So let's dive right in. And it's the Farmers Insurance Open. We know about that. I give you a quick little intro about the course. There it is. And Justin Rose. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry, my computer was going a little slow. So we're going to Torrey Pines Municipal Golf Courses, both par 72s. The north is easier than the south. The south is used for uh, three rounds in this tournament and all rounds in majors. Uh, the next major will be 2021 is coming. I believe it's the U.S. Open. Uh, great, great venue for that. DraftKings, 100K to first. Kind of disappointing a little bit. Thought they could have gone higher on that one with uh, Tiger in such a good field. Could be wrong, though. Who knows? Uh, and FanDuel, 25K. So FanDuel's up in their game uh, significantly. So like to see that. Uh, like to see more uh, money going into the prize pool. So there's your quick little intro into the week. Also, uh, Fantasy Draft even put out a, a 4K. Uh, I'm sorry. Four figures, so 1000 to first place for the $25 buy-in. So increasing everywhere, and that's what we like to see. A couple of the players that you're going to see this week, Justin Rose, the defending champion, coming in at 10300 FanDuel 11300 It's coming off a second place uh, at the Singapore Open where he lost to Matt Kuchar, and he came fifth at the Hero. So uh, two kind of... Uh, I'll call him exhibitions to before he comes to defend his title here at the Farmers. Last year, he ended 21st in strokes gain on the approach and 17th on putting. That's a pretty darn good combination, if you ask me. Next, we got Mark Leishman, the Aussie, uh, coming in 9,800 on FanDuel, 8,300 on DraftKings. Coming off a 28th place at the Sony Open. So not a bad start out there in the wind. He ended the year 28th on approaches and 41st in putting. So a pretty good combination. But man, when this guy is on with his putting, he is very, very dangerous. So Mark Leishman in the field this week. And my one oddball of the week, I've mentioned him. He's been on this little show a couple of times. And I like to bring him up when he's in the field. It's Woo Woo Brandon Woo. 7,700 on FanDuel, 6,300 on DraftKings. So your value this week, big time. He was at the Hong Kong Open with Colin Morikawa, Tony Finau, and all those guys. Ended up missing the cut, though. Right on the number. Shot 71-71, so it wasn't like he played bad. Um, but couldn't get under par. Who knows? Maybe he didn't putt that well. We don't have stats or anything like that from it. But uh, we'll look for him to certainly be bouncing back this week. Hasn't missed a PGA Tour start um, uh, since uh, joining, uh, since becoming a professional, I should say. So that is our three players, and now we get into the fun, the bets, and round one showdown focus. Listen, golf sweats are just the best, so why not get the fun started right away? That's kind of the tagline here. So we'll go over the bets. Last week, I was one and one. Molinari shot 73 in round one. Oof, just doesn't look like he's in form at all. Phil Mickelson beat him. Uh, however, Knox, Russell Knox, shot 66 against Kevin Nas, 69. So I go one and one there. I uh, did not hit the parlay. Uh, so this week, I'm picking out three, three bets. Uh, so I've got Cam Champ over Billy Horschel. So Cam Champ has been playing very, very well. His irons have been the downfall, but those uh, look like they're coming around. And Billy Horschel is just out of form um, completely. So look for Cameron Champ minus 115 against Horschel, round one. Rory Sabatini, plus 110 against Molinari. That's the one I'm going back to. Molinari just seems like he's out of form and Sabatini has been steady Eddie. So uh, look for that. Uh, you can parlay both of those for a plus 290. But now I've got a third one. I added a third one after doing this. The reason why I did so is because I saw the temperature and while there's going to be no wind, looks like it's going to be like 55, 60 degrees all day. And then in the morning, it's going to be even colder. And we know Tiger struggles to get loose when it's cold. I mean, he's come out and said this. So I'm going to take plus 120 on Reed in the first round. He tees off at 940, Tiger does, in that first round. Uh, so I like that. Um, I like that matchup. Uh, not going to do it the second round. I think Tiger's fine. I think he's in good form. But again, 
when it's cold, man, it's not your struggles. He said it um, in this older age. So you can do all the parlays for plus 760. Um, so those are the three bets for my opening round. Now, moving on to three balls, I'm taking that same philosophy about Tiger Woods uh, being cold. And now I'm putting Colin Morikawa plus 350 against John Rahm, basically, if I'm if I'm writing Tiger out in my philosophy. So I'm just taking this narrative and betting it. Um, Colin Morikawa plus 350. John Rahm was also plus 120, so interesting. Maybe you pick it a little there. I liked Colin Mus- Morikawa in what I think is a head-to-head matchup against Rahm. I like Colin Morikawa plus 350. I think that's pretty good value there. And then Hideki Matsuyama is minus 165 against Jason Duffner and Max Homa. I'll take that every time. Um, Max Homa and Jason Duffner, while they may be decent players, they are nowhere near uh, Hideki Matsuyama's. You can probably both of those for a plus 620. All right, so my round one showdown focus. Uh, one of the things that we've seen, here's the thing with Jordan Spieth. While he's been wildly inconsistent off the tee, he's found himself towards the top of the leaderboard after Thursday and or Friday and has really struggled on the weekends, really struggled once he's gotten there. He also likes these style of courses. Um, so Mid has also made his professional debut here back in 2013. However... The rough is long and he's spraying the ball. It's going to be tough for him uh, to uh, to play well. However, if you want to get exposure, you're looking for low owned. Round one showed on focus, 8,300. That's very cheap for a guy that can light it up and we know is the best putter uh, in the world, maybe ever. And then Sam Burns shot nine under on Sunday. Maybe he carries that momentum into round one this week. Only priced at 7,200. Expect both of those guys to be low owned. So Hopefully that gives you a little bit of a golf round one sweat. Uh, Of course, Euro is starting in just over uh, 10 hours. I'll be out with an article here shortly uh, for some uh, bets in there. So if you're looking for a little bit more content, you can check it out. And of course, Ben and I will be on the airwaves 830 for our live before lock show on the YouTube, Osmo YouTube channel. So check us out then. And until next time, everybody, cheers.